Hey guys, what is up? It's Totally Gamed here, and we're playing this game that's called Does Not Commute. Now, I believe I've played it before. I'm not too sure. Pretty sure I have. And we're just going to see what happens. So, Dentist Charles Schneider leaves his house and heads for the clinic in Close Boulevard or whatever. So, we got to turn right. Okay. That was pretty simple. Postwoman Betty is very efficient, and she always has time to stop and see Mr. Beck. So, I've got to go over here. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Ms. Hayfield is late to the office. Her husband kept her with the constant talk of Yorkshire Terriers. Yorkshire Terriers? I don't know. Some sort of dog? Um... So I'm gonna assume I'm just trying to piece together all of this and not crash. Miss Beck is on her way to come home and she forgot her key card at the office. How clumsy. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna cut through. Oh god! Yeah, let's rewind. Ah, uh, cost a second? That's not good. Now I've just gotta turn into here. Turn here. Boom. There we go. Um, I didn't read that, and I probably should have. Why is everyone going one direction? Let's just cut in through here, do this, come through the roundabout, and voila. Uh, advertiser Mr. Baker drives to work whispering. The same slogan to himself every morning, less emotions, more promotions. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we'll just agree. Shake our head and agree. So there's that. School bus driver Miss Santiago thinks that the best thing about kids being loud is that no one can hear you cry. That is terrible. I am scared for that bus driver. So that means now that if I wreck anything like that no one can hear him cry leisure drivers and binocular owner mr. Turner knows a bit about every everyone in the neighborhood I'm having a hard time reading for some reason today you learned about his new autistic I I don't know I'm just gonna stop butchering things and call it good oh that was scary okay garbage man Dwayne is collecting garbage in his neighborhood dude look at that freaking afro that mustache and all that jeez so we're gonna come over here we're gonna grab that 10 seconds just gonna hope that no one okay we did it Woo! Everyone thinks that the man driving the car is Mr. Lee, but Mr. Lee is long gone. Lord knows who's the man that he looks like, like Mr. Lee, and thinks and good enough for the most people. Okay, so I'm going to assume he's a killer, maybe? I don't know, now it's raining. What of Miss Clemens is certain that the ghost of her husband has possessed a car? Like, every time... On this day of the week, she's off to see the expert in the matter. What? So a, a ghost possessing a car? That's what I'm grasping from this. Julia makes her way to work in the city. She does not particularly, in, particularly enjoy it. In fact, she's thinking about heading home and to call in sick. You know, but that's something you don't want to do. Just because you don't enjoy a job, you got a job for a reason. Julia got closer and closer to her office. She decides to skip work. Now she's on her way to the closest Billmore Mall to buy fireworks, methylated spirits, and hammer drill. That's an odd combination. <laughs> very, very odd combination. There we go. See them drifts I was doing? Mr. Olson recently acquired the mop. Mopped. 
on which he rides to see the spiritual advisor. The very same spiritual advisor sold him on the mopped. The vehicle concentration is very difficult and expensive progress. Hmm. So you're on some sort of moped thing? Inventor and designer Miss Flitzpatrick is on her way to work in the... I'm just gonna leave that alone and wreck into a pole and be very slow now. Uh, I should have never did it. Oh, I'm even going down the wrong one. There we go. This car doesn't have a driver. Isn't that strange? Uh, I would say a little bit strange, just a little bit. But why doesn't he have a driver? Like, did the driver die? There needs to be a backstory to this. Wrong one again. Oh, I wrecked. Well, at least I wrecked near it, but I still wrecked. Mr. Mayfield is especially happy today. He is heading to a fancy suit store. They finally had the adult sized Yorkshire Terrier suit back in stock. That mustache, though. Are you driving a convertible? Um, yeah, nope. I think he's driving a convertible. To be honest. Oh gosh, dang it. You know, you got a little happy and you wrecked. That's sad. Dentist Charles Schneider skipped lunch and he went to the library instead. He's heading back to the clinic with the book's temporal prayer. I, I don't know. I give up on reading. <laughs> um. There we go. Ms. Clemens leaves the spiritual advisor with $500 less than her wallet. $500 to see a spiritual advisor? Jeez! You just got milked for money. I didn't even read that. I just got T-boned. And I smacked another car. And I smacked a pole. it here this game is something completely different and I didn't know what exactly I was doing in it really and so yeah that game is I don't know I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to check it out um I don't know if they have it for Android or not I'll check and see I'll leave both links in the description if you want to try it and I guess thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I don't know if I really did or not. I Like, it was fun to an extent. But, you know, I'm going to leave it there. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And I, I clicked it with my arm. Oh, no!